Yeah, it's tough when you're dealing with temperatures like that. Meanwhile, here in southern New England, not quite that hot, no. although it's humid out there <laughs> and a lot of people heading to Narragansett Town Beach today, Brittany. Yeah, and we could definitely also use the water. Yeah, actually, I wanted to mention, too, yeah. in the city of Warwick, they're implementing that odd even uh, water ban because of the drought conditions. So something to be aware of if you live in the city of Warwick. Yeah, we just got those updated numbers for our drought conditions. We are still in a moderate drought for all of Rhode Island, mm -hmm. except for right along the coast, as well as for a decent chunk of uh, southeastern Massachusetts. So still very dry out there. The good news is we are seeing a chance for rain later on this afternoon. Afternoon, so hopefully that'll put a little bit of a small dent in those drought conditions. But really, we need a widespread heavy rain that is really going to stick around for a bit, and we just don't see the chance for that for today, really with those isolated thunderstorms rolling through. So yeah, we're looking out towards Narragansett Beach. It looks beautiful out there. People soaking up the sun, a very crowded destination for today. Looking back towards New Bedford, you can see the blue skies, a couple of clouds out there, but really just an absolutely beautiful afternoon. It's a great day out there. Live radar still looking very very quiet across our area. Again, a couple of clouds, but no showers just yet. It's a different story. If you take a little bit of a wider look out, you can see a couple of showers starting to move in behind this stationary front. A couple of showers kind of moving uh, through Massachusetts, kind of up towards New Hampshire right now. We're going to continue to see this activity kind of beef up a little bit more, become a little bit more strong and widespread, and then it'll be moving towards our area later on this afternoon. So overall for our three key things, well, we're seeing those storms for today, but we are tracking some beautiful weather to return for tomorrow and this weekend, and we're going to be hot out there once again with those temperatures picking up just a little bit more. Right now, we are mostly in the 80s with the exception of a couple of spots, Newport and Block Island. They're looking right around 76 degrees. Everybody else in the low 80s. Again, a little bit of humidity out there as well, making it feel a little bit warmer. Overall, the rest of the day today, we're going to continue to see that sunshine in between those thunderstorms that develop. It's going to stay hot and humid as well. Right when one of those storms kind of blows past your area, you'll see a little bit of some temporary relief from the humidity, but then things will warm up just as quickly as they cool down when those storms roll through. So here's the window of time for this thunderstorm activity. It's going to be from about two o'clock all the way through till about eight o'clock tonight. So as of a, we look at about three o'clock, you're seeing that first little chance for some storms first along uh, areas up to the north. And then as we continue through the evening, it starts to fill in and move a little bit further to the south. So bye bye five o'clock is when we're seeing our chance for the most activity and then things will start to wind down. Last chance for some storms. It's going to be about eight o'clock and then overnight tonight we'll start to dry out. We'll start to clear out and we'll be seeing uh, some warm and humid conditions. Temperatures in the 60s, but we will be drying out as we look forward to overnight tonight. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. You can see that by Sunday we're really starting to warm up a decent amount. We're back up into the upper 80s. It'll be warm and humid with some sunshine out there next week. A chance for some showers once again on Monday. We're staying very warm, though. We're finally back into a more summer like pattern where the humidity is sticking around. It's not going to go anywhere. It's going to be warm out there. Temperatures pretty uh, consistently in the 80s, if not closer to almost 90, just a lot of heat on the way. And again, today those storms, some of them could be strong to maybe even severe. So do keep your eye on the sky as they start to develop and move through our area. You can get uh, your full forecast over on our website. That's WPRI.com. You can check it out anytime you like. All right, Brittany, thank you. And we want to check some other